Yeah, how are you guys? Uh, so welcome back to more Bloodborne Discussion Part 3. Yeah, so this is just going to be a discussion. For those of you that are new uh, to the channel, welcome. But yeah, so what I do is I do a discussion uh, for Bloodborne. It's for the PlayStation 4, and it's a really, really good game. I really do love the game. What I do is I make a, a segment, you, you know, just talking, just making a discussion about the game, what I like about it, uh, you know, because I've, I've completed this game so many different times. Uh, I've been multiple playthroughs. Yeah, so I just want to uh, discuss a little bit more uh, stuff uh, regarding Bloodborne. So well, let's get into it already. I want to discuss more about the Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne because Bloodborne is very, very well known for its Chalice Dungeons. I want to talk about specifically the Defiant Chalice Dungeon because it's a pretty challenging and difficult uh, Chalice Dungeon. For sure, there's a lot of difficult, uh, really, really difficult bosses in this. Uh, well, in this Chalice Dungeon, like in particular, uh, and it took me a long time to get through this entire dungeon. Uh, you know, it's definitely one of the bonus things to do in a New Game Plus mode. I, I would recommend uh, doing the Chalice Dungeons in a New Game Plus mode for sure, because if you do it on your first playthrough, it, you can, yeah, you're probably going to have a hard time getting through all the like all of the dungeons like in this game. Like, it's definitely one of the in-game content, you know, it's definitely one of the bonus things you can do after you've already beaten the game. You can go through New Game Plus and do your Chalice Dungeons. Lots of them, well, like if not all of them, can be pretty hard uh, and really tough to get through. There's going to be one boss in particular that I want to talk about, and that is Watchdog of the Old Lords. That is a pretty challenging boss, I gotta admit. Uh, it, I, I, it took me a crap ton of tries to finally take down a watchdog. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you don't know who Watchdog is, he's pretty much like a giant dog that uh, is basically like made out of like fire. Like it, like any kind of attack that he um, makes, uh, it's all made out of fire. So it has a little a fire um, effect to it. So you, you can't get too close to him. Uh, otherwise, you'll get punished really, really hard. Now he has so many different uh, move sets, like uh, the charging attack. Uh, the biting, barking attack, uh, and those are pretty much uh, dodgeable, and uh, you can pretty much do dodge those with no problem. But the problem is, it, like, if you're using like a non-ranged <laughs> weapon, like a, uh, a saw cleaver, definitely don't use the Chicago. Um, you're, you're probably going to have a hard time, you know, uh, facing, you know, um, going head on, like, like head on with this boss with a Chicago or. Uh, a saw spear or a saw cleaver or anything like that. You want to use a really long range weapon like a scythe or uh, well, some kind of axe. That's pretty much what I used. You know, I used the scythe in the game because you can receive the scythe after uh, defeating uh, uh, Garamond, you know, uh, the first hunter. Yeah, so after defeating him and you, you know, you beat the game already, and, and after that you start the whole game over, you pretty much go into New Game Plus mode. New Game Plus, uh, basically, you know, you start back over, but you keep all your stats, and you keep all your weapons, you keep everything. It's just that all the enemies are going to be on a really, really higher level, and they're, and they're going to be a lot harder. So, uh, that, that's a good plus. That is, uh, a, a, that definitely adds a lot of replay value to the whole game. So that, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, these Chalice Dungeons can be a pretty big pain uh, to deal with, especially like if you're facing against Watchdog. I think it probably might be the, uh, uh, you know, the hardest boss in the game, I think. Uh, I still have to rethink that. I, I'm pretty sure that either Ludwig or Watchdog can be one of the hardest bosses in the game. But yeah, uh, really, really tough boss. Uh, really, really tough to get through. It took me a crap ton of tries. I think it took me like, uh, at least 15 tries. Uh, he was pretty difficult. So, I said, if you're going to fight Watch Dogs, Old Lords, I think, yeah, Old Lords, if you're going to fight him, please use a long ranged weapon. It'll still be a pretty difficult boss, you know, to fight, but at least you won't have a pain to deal with, you know? You know, so definitely use a safe, use a, well, an axe or something. Like, if you want more of a challenge, I would say use the Chicago or the Saw Cleaver or the Saw Spear. Uh, yeah, you're probably going to have a much tougher time getting through that boss, but yeah, for but if you don't want to have as much struggle, use a, a long range weapon, so definitely. There is another boss that you might recognize from Nightmare Frontier. If you guys play the game, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, Ogmigala, like, is in this dungeon. Yeah, so 
you get to uh, actually fight, you know, Amygdala. I mean, you get to fight Amygdala well, in the Defiant Chalice Dungeon. But it's not as easy. Uh, it's not going to be nearly as easy as uh, she was in Nightmare Frontier. Uh, you know, like, okay, so in this Chalice Dungeon, you know, they, uh, um, you know, they deplete your health by half. So, so uh, you know, like, whatever your stats is, it, I mean, like, it, well, they shrink down half of that. And, uh, yeah, that could be a pain. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to lie. It, it took me a ton of tries getting through, uh, you know, just Amygdala was pretty, pretty hard on, uh, well, like, in this dungeon, uh, for that matter. Uh, yeah, really tough times. But... Uh, that, but the weird part is, that's not even the hardest boss in this dungeon. Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely Watchdog. Watchdog is significantly harder than Amygdala, but, um, yeah, that, that's one of the bosses that were hard. Uh, okay, now on to the boss that I want to talk about, uh, even more. And, uh, that is definitely going to be, uh, Yarnum, the Fremeria Queen. Uh, now, you can fight her uh, pretty much after uh, taking down the Defiant Chalice Dungeon, but to me, personally, that boss was a little bit of a joke to me because I was pretty, uh, like, I, I don't want to say I was overleveled, but I was at the right level for this boss fight. And, uh, you know, yeah, now she is a person that you encounter in Nightmare Mensis, but you don't get to fight her. She's pretty much near uh, Margot's Wit Nurse. After defeating uh, Margot's Wit Nurse, if you go back out to see Yarnum, the Primaria Queen again, she just disappears. And the only way you can actually fight her is if you go to the Chalice Dungeons, of course. And that's where I fought her. And uh, I, I gotta admit, she did have some pretty, uh, you know, cool moves. Now, her entire moveset wasn't really that hard to figure out. I can figure it out in just a second. Uh, it was a pretty easy uh, move set to figure out, you know. It wasn't that difficult. Pretty unique uh, boss fight, though, I, I, I have to admit. It's very different from any other boss fight I've ever fought in Bloodborne, and uh, it was a pretty satisfying fight at, uh, at best. I'm not saying she's not challenging, because she is if you're at a really, really low level, but uh, if you want, like, but if you want more of a challenge, I would recommend fighting her at, like, level, uh, level 90 or something like that. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I mean, overall, I, I think she was a really enjoyable boss, and, uh, and now there's, a, a, like, one phase in the game where she actually clones herself, she, like, stabs herself and clones herself, uh, that was pretty cool, and you had to take down the clones and then take, her, and take down her, it was really, really easy to telegraph, you know, uh, which ones were the clones and which ones, uh, you know, like, I mean, like, was the real uh, queen, so, yeah, I mean, that was a pretty interesting boss fight, so. Yeah, that's all I want to see uh, about Bloodborne Part 3. Well, Bloodborne Discussion Part 3. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. So, yeah, so if you guys played Bloodborne, let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section. I will be sure to read it. I will be sure to read that for sure. So, yeah, that's going to be it. So, until next time, everybody, take it easy, guys, and take care, everyone.